no. You don't get to go and hide and turn off the lights. That's not how this works. Okay. So we have this new tonight. The Sacramento Police Department's considering the recommendations of an audit by the Office of Public Safety Accountability. This after a body worn camera shows an officer handcuffing a 10 year old. That audit covered a variety of issues, but it's the handcuffing of that 10 year old girl that's drawing emotional reaction tonight. Yeah, police went to the house in February last year for a probation search at the time. Officers say they knew people were inside at the time. As they pounded on the front door, the lights inside were turned off and no one immediately opened the door. Eventually, a 10 year old girl did come to the door and that's when she was taken into custody. Come to the door right now. Open the door. I'm a baby. Open the you're door. not a baby if you're not Open listening. Open the door. Come outside. Come outside right now. Who is here? You're going Who is here? <laughs> There's no one in here. No, you don't get to go and hide and turn off the lights. That's not how this works. Okay, but you're going to be the one to handcuffs. Because you're not listening. How old are you? I'm 10. Let me take this off you. I don't need you in handcuffs. Why are you running through the house? Okay, so you saw what happened there. The child was in cuffs for a little more than 30 seconds, and as you just saw and heard, as soon as the officer asked and found out that the girl was just 10 years old, he did take off the handcuffs. But the Office of Public Safety Accountability says that that girl should never have been cuffed at all. The audit of the incident found that the officers did not violate a policy on the handcuffing of children. That's because the department does not have any such policy. The Office of Public Safety Accountability wants to change that. And based on this event, the audit recommends the Sacramento Police Department develop a policy specifying handcuffing procedures for minors. It suggests the department adopt the policies used by the San Jose or Baltimore Police Departments. It goes on to recommend the department should receive continuous education and training on implicit bias. In a statement, the Sacramento police chief says, quote, no matter how legitimate the circumstances and no matter the legal justification, SPD understands the sensitive nature of inadvertently creating harm. SPD values and strives to protect the physical and emotional safety of our community and children. Chief Kathy Lester says the department she leads will review the sample policy of the San Jose Police Department. Chief Lester also says her department already has continuous education and training on implicit bias. Yes.